What's up guys, it's Jordi here for Cinecom.net and Painted Titles is a collection of 10 title templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. We've got two packs, the basic and the premium, and in this video I will show you how to use that basic pack. So once you've downloaded it, by the way, you can find a link to the download in the description below or in the cart up here somewhere. So once you've downloaded it, you will find these four files within your download. And basically what we're going to need is the After Effects and the Premiere Pro file. Now, before we're going to start, we are first going to synchronize the fonts that were used in the title templates. And we've been using fonts from Typekit, which is a free service if you have a Creative Cloud account. So I'm going to assume that you have that account. Head over to your internet browser and just go to the website typekit.com and just press enter. Also for that, you can find a link to it in the description below. Now, I am already logged in. If you aren't, then just log in with your Creative Cloud account and then you can use this website as well and in here i'm going to search for a particular font and just type in balloon because that's the one that we used balloon u r w there we go and then just on the right side here click on use fonts and just select all of them you can also show more fonts here extra bold let's just take them the one as well and just click on sync selected fonts and there we go it's synchronized and now we can start here you can also see now a message from creative cloud that three fonts were added by the way you don't need these fonts but you will get an error message saying that some fonts are missing when you're going to import the templates and then you can just uh, change the font to anything you'd like so let's get started i'm going to go back to my documents right here and uh, let's get started with the premiere pro project Right here, I've got Premiere Pro open, and let's assume that we are working here on a project. I'm editing a video, and now I would like to add these templates to my project. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to head back to this window right here. I'm going to make this a bit smaller, because and now I'm just going to drag in the Premiere Pro project into Premiere Pro. And that will prompt me with a message how I would like to import it, and I'm just going to say, press OK, and everything will be imported. You know, if you haven't seen the font, you will see an error message coming from down below here. Don't worry too much about that. You can always change the fonts afterwards. So we've got two folders right here. We've got the sources, which you don't really need to be in, but we need that folder. And then we've got the, temp the title templates adjust here. And as the name says, we can adjust it right here. So right here, if you open that up, you will find 10 sequences. And you can double click on any of these. Let's just start with the first one to open that sequence and just watch the template. There we go. So here's the animation, everything going. Now, of course, you want to change the text and you can do that by just double clicking on the upper layer always. It's the uh, pink layer, the magenta layer. Double click on that. And from here, then you can change the text to anything you want. So let's just uh, make that um, Jordy. That's my name. And uh, from here also, you can change the font if you like. So you can change the color. You can do anything you want. You can completely style this text as you like. Now then just close the titler and well, that's it. If you're going to play this right now, you will see that the animation also works perfectly with another text. And now there are two ways how you can import this into your existing project. If you go back to the sequence number one, let's assume that we have an edit in here. What you can do is just drag any of these templates here inside your project like that. And that will actually nest a sequence within a sequence. And you can play it. And as you can see, we've got the animation going right here. And to change this text, you can double click on it and that will just open up that template. Now, as you can see, sometimes we also have two layers of text which you can change. And that is, of course, for the main title and the subtitle to change. So that other way to use these templates is by actually selecting all of these files within that template. Right click on it and just say copy. Then go to your project file and go to the menu, edit and say paste. And that will put in all of these files as well. So these are the two ways on how you can use these templates. Now, a question that we had a lot with the previous template spec was how we can use the same title multiple times. Because when you're going to, let's say, copy this again, I'm going to use the shortcut now, Control C and Control V for the Mac users, that is Command C and Command V to copy and paste. And let's say that I'm going to change the text of this now. So I'm going to double click on the upper title and let's just name this here Cinecom close that and when I'm going to take a look at the previous title now you will see that also here that the source text is changed as well and that's because we're going to need a duplication of this we can't just copy and paste these title files so I'm going to delete my copy right here 
There we go. And the best way to do it now is just select all of your files like that. Hold down your Alt key, that goes the same for the Mac users, and drag that to a different location and let go. Now we have a copy, and you can also see that. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. You can see now that the title is also changed here to copy 01. And now we do can change the text in here to something different. So let's just say, um, Jordy, you're just going to put my name again. There we go. Now we've got one that says Cineca, and the copy, the real copy, holds my name. So this is how you can use the same template multiple times. So that's it for the Premiere Pro templates pack. But we also have an After Effects templates pack. And let me go back to that one here. Now the After Effects version can be used also inside Premiere Pro and of course also inside After Effects. Let me show you how you can use this inside Premiere Pro. But of course you need an installation of After Effects for this. You don't need to open up After Effects but you do need to have it installed. So just drag that file then inside Premiere Pro. And uh, then it will prompt a, a new window and it will locate the different templates in here. Open that up and now you select any of these templates that you would like to import. For example, painted title number four. Select that, press OK, and that will import that file. And from here we can now drag that composition from After Effects inside our video edit. There we go. And we can also just view it from here. But let's say that we would like to change this text right now. Well, here's how we can do that. From your project panel right here, drag that composition from After Effects into your source monitor, which is this window. Drag it in there, that will actually open it up in the first viewer. And once you've got it open in there, head over to your effects controls. And now you can see that we can change the text here. We've got title and subtext. And let's name that Jordy. Subtext is awesome. There we go. And you can see it's being updated live. So that's a different way on how you can use these templates. But of course, if you would like to change the colors and the text font, etc., then you still need to go to After Effects. But let's have a look now at how After Effects works. Well, basically the same way. Open up After Effects here. We have a project. Let's assume that we're working on something. Again, now we can just drag that After Effects project inside After Effects. So that's a project in a project, which is Projectception. And then just open up that folder again. Again, we've got the same thing, sources, and I just hear the title templates. Here are all the compositions. And what we can do now is just drag this to a new composition. There we go. And from here now, we can also change this text, of course. Double click on your title templates. We can find the same thing again. We've got our background, and now we've got the text with the animation on it, etc. You can change the text here from your character tab. I bet you're familiar with that if you're working with After Effects. You can change the color, the font, everything. Now, for those who would like to have some more flexibility by also changing the background colors and all, then we have that premium pack, which you can purchase for only $5. You can also find a link to it in the description below. You also support our project by doing so. But be aware that's only available for After Effects because we're going to need all the flexibility that only After Effects can give us. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any more questions, then just pop them in the comments below.